those exams in the rear view mirror. They are in their road black jerseys, the home whites for Ballard. The winner moves on to the Elite Eight Sunday afternoon. Let's take a look at our Capital One starting lineups for the Lady Bears, the two seed in this region. Landrum and Cohen joining the other three in the lane. One and done on that trip. State wants to do is definitely make Brown run up and down the floor in the open. This is where you got a driver right there. Kulich pulls up for 15, but you get Cohen trying to weave through traffic. The spacing off right now for Baylor. Yeah, they, they are fine with Cohen trying to make plays. Look at Gulick stand up Brown, and she makes it. Pick and roll is a big part of this offense, right? Debbie? Yes, it's a big part of what Scott Rook likes to do in the shoot on the elbows. First down. Four. Four. Got it. Grow, but their confidence grow. In fact, he credits that win for giving them the belief necessary to beat Tennessee on Sunday. He said, if we didn't have that win two years ago, how would we ever believe that we could do something in winning in Knoxville in the tournament against Tennessee that hasn't been done before? He said, we still believe and have not forgotten from that win. Three ball is good. She did not fare well in that Elite Eight matchup from a couple years ago. Kalani Brown is not a shot blocker. Doesn't want to get in foul trouble. Lauren Cox is a better shot blocker. Terrific backdoor cut by Co Post up, steps away, and gets the roll. Tudor on the drive, and here comes Morris the other way. Off the crossover to the right side, Lex Morris. So shooters in the corner. Gulich rattles it in, out, and then back down. Defensive player of the year. Lined up opposite Kalani Brown tonight. Cox spins away and hits. Getting plenty of looks in the lane. Goodman for three. Around and down. He's the backup point guard to Michaela Pivik. And she comes in with a scorer's mentality. Third triple of this first half for Oregon State. Brown, 15 footer, got it. Rolled over Grambling and Michigan, scored over 90 in the first round, scored 80 in the second round win. Gulich spinning away from Brown and knocking it down. There's that pick and roll action right into Lauren Cox and she gets the block. Richards on the run, slicing into the lane. Not preview of the games coming up with uh, the second window tonight, including the Mavs, they are doing nothing to make us play like this right now. Yeah, they have maintained the advantage throughout Baylor, led very briefly early on in the first quarter, and now they have... ...with 11 points so far, the lead all scores, Gulich with 10 for Oregon State. And there's number 10, Katie McWilliams, with the bucket to tie it up. That's her first basket for Oregon State after going over for 3 to start the game. Good out of bounds play. Brown, or she can just a team that only makes four threes a game. And look at that isolation. They clear out the weak side and they let Kalani Brown go one on one. And one opportunity on the second chance for Richards. Let's check in now with Allison Williams. Hey, Beth, spoke with Marie Gulich as she came out of the half, and she said the message in the locker room was about playing defensively on Kalani Brown after Brown made a couple of those jumpers. She said she showed she's comfortable there. I have to get out on her. We have to make sure we're switching up how we play her defensively. Cat Tudor's already got one. Kalani Brown loves to go to that left hand. And Brown, her ability on the block and her ability to hit some face-up shots. Gulich stepping away. Now she's the nice one. Richards weak side. Kind of bounce there. What do you mean? In front of them for the second half, and they are both masters at sort of running the show, conducting for their offenses. And there's another triple for Cat Tudor. Vic the pitch. 
stepping just inside the line is course down pivot why she won't get an easier put back than that highest ranked recruit in oregon state history that will be supplanted next year when 6'9 andrea kino shot missed it richards to cohen and a good fast break for baylor this isn't in the team speed of baylor Another three-pointer for Oregon State. That's Corners Dillich has handled it all with a plop. And is looking to make a big difference on the floor tonight. And there she is with the top. That would be a screen assist. Morris looking for the deep three. Gets the nice hop. Pivot. Gets the shot up and over. The defensive player. The Close quarters in the fourth quarter. Gulich. Just enough of a window to hit it. Good job by Gulich not to let her catch it that deep in the post. Tudor on the drive and wards off as well. Gulich trying to get her out. Cox and one. But how is she handling the defense on Gulich who's having a big night? Look at the 2-3 defense. Cox gets into the lane and a quick... Goodman trying to hold down the fort at the point. And gets the assist to Tudor. It's lead of the night for the Beavers. Cox, the wraparound pass to Kalani. Beautiful interior pass. Cox with a touch and a shot. Rattles it home. A quiet to play. Gulich, 17. Fire knocks it down. I love night for the Pac-12. As right now, Oregon State has the lead over the two-seed Baylor Lady Bears down the stretch and too many chances. The ball didn't hit the rim, so they went by possession, and it was a jump ball, and Baylor kept possession, and they score on the out-of-bounds play. Pivik back on the floor to handle the ball against Baylor's pressure with foul trouble. Faces up. She's flirting with a triple double despite all the foul problems tonight. The kick out for three, and it's good. The mismatch with Morris. And Brown with the takeaway. Morris on the run. And one. And the block to Kalani Brown. Still a two possession game, although the three has been ineffective. They're going to go to Morris instead, and there's a triple. Batch could factor in if they late on if they need a three. Meeting Baylor looking for a three. Here's Morris who has the last six points for Baylor. She'll try for three more. Nine in a row for Morris. And it's a Gulich. Pivik so methodical offensively. The kick out Mick Williams for three and she hits it. What's the play? Three is no good. Weak side Cohen show shot blocked by Shooting nine triples from four.